Now it is war. Gen Z has finally snapped over climate change and financial inequality. OK Boomer marks the end of friendly generational relations. Hi, I'm OG Liberty, and I'm back again to talk over this interesting New York Times article talking about the phrase, OK Boomer. And then this unique individual added, have a terrible day at the bottom, kind of in homage to the uh, old grocery store bags that said, you know, have a nice day on them. We'll get to this article in a minute. First, I want to talk about, of course, our Think Liberty Patreon here, along with all of our social media outlets that we have displayed. Make sure to take a look at this and all the rewards that are provided with our various levels of donations. All right, let's get let's break this down, shall we? In a vi viral audio clip on TikTok, a white-haired man in a baseball cap and polo shirt declares millennials and Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome and they don't want to grow up. Thousands of teens have responded through the remixed reaction videos and art projects with the simple phrase, OK Boomer. It has become Generation Z's endless repeated retort to the problem of older people who just don't get it. A rallying cry for millions of fed up kids, teenagers who use it to reply to cringy YouTube videos, Donald Trump tweets, and basically any person over 30 that says something condescending about young people and the issues that matter to them. Now, of course, this is the New York Times, so it's going to be more biased towards probably a left wing perspective here. It did mention climate change earlier, and it does later down in the article as well. So, you know, and they were probably very selective with the people that they interviewed to try to kind of move it in that direction a little bit. However, I think this kind of breaks down things a little bit. And here we see some high school kids, uh, you know, with that had took duct tape and they put the on the shirts. So where does this kind of come from? Because I, you know, that that question can kind of come up with who with people who are not internet people, as as it uses later in here, um, who are not internet people who don't, you know, are not in with the culture and all that kind of stuff. How did this thing kind of come about? Well, there, I think it kind of came about from some uh, some of the other you know, little phrases that are out there like snowflake and, you know, oh, you millennials and oh, you millennials don't understand this or that. And so there's there's been this kind of building up, you know, of a, a while, I think, of uh, millennials that are kind of just sick and tired of it. Quite personally, you know, from my experience, a lot of the millennials that I encounter with encounter and even the Gen Z's that are just coming out of high school, coming into adulthood going to college, all that kind of stuff, um, are usually, from what I've seen, for the va for a majority, pretty hard workers. They've they've held jobs, even though it might be, might not be uh, the thing that they want to do. They a lot of them have had to work retail or food service or you know factory work. So, you know some jobs that a lot of people don't see as very glamorous or all that. Even even people that I've known that have college degrees. Um, do they have utopian ideas as the, as the guy who d said in the, uh, as the boomer in the TikTok video said, do they have int utopian ideas? Yeah, some of them do. Um, you know, socialism and outspoken, you know, socialistic tendencies and, you know, anarchistic and libertarian, you know, that that's, uh, that's something that has come about more in the internet age where people are, are stronger advocates for these kind of far off ideas, I suppose they're far off according to the normal political uh, diagram there or political dichotomy. So let's go through this a little bit more. The older generations grew up with a certain mindset and we have a different perspective. Miss, Miss O'Connor said, a lot of them don't believe in climate change nor, or don't believe that people can't, can get jobs with dyed hair. Now, I have heard that one before. So, you know, I have heard the whole, like, you can't get a job with that hair or with those tattoos or with those piercings, which uh, to some degree may be true. Uh, there's certain jobs that that's going to be, you know, definitely frowned upon. Uh, you're probably not going to be a police officer or, 
a uh, you know white collar executive for a Fortune 500 company, but or maybe maybe you will. Um, if that's not the norm, but uh, there's definitely there's definitely changes that are coming about in business, and I kind of recognize that. But to a degree, I would say that's a little bit true still. Um, a lot of them are stubborn in that view. Teenagers just respond, okay, boomer. It's like, we'll prove you wrong. We're still going to be successful because the world is changing. Now, I th- I can kind of see both sides of this. I can kind of see that, you know, that with certain jobs or with certain forms of employment, there's going to be certain rules and there's going to be a certain amount of decorum that you have to have or a certain way that you have to dress in order to be successful at that job, certain jobs. Um, And so on the other side, I can see that like, well, a lot of people really don't care if you have, you know, tattoos or a full, you know, full sleeve of tattoos or facial piercings or or it, it just... They just don't care. And in some jobs, it adds, it adds flavor to the experience. Um, you know, you, you have different kinds of – you can look around and you obviously say, well, wow, there, there's different kinds of people that work here. And some people like that. It can kind of be a, 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 in a way to attract customers and makes them more comfortable in, you know, a customer service setting. I don't – that's just kind of what I've what I've seen in my day. Um Hundreds of OK Boomer products are available for sale, and, you know, they're marketing these types of T-shirts. And I think they're kind of cool, actually. They're taking kind of a meme, meme to market things, where they, which they describe, which is actually a big part of the millennial and Gen Z generation, is that, you know, we make, we've grown up with the Internet, or the millennials have come into the Internet. Gen Z, it's always been there. And so as they come into adulthood, they start making memes on the internet. And then, so it's like, wow, I, you know, people really like this. Why don't I make it into a product? There's kind of an entrepreneurial spirit, spirit there. Um, one of, uh, one of the Think Liberty colleagues, he actually, um, he actually had a pretty successful Space Force line of t-shirts and did pretty well with it and meme to market kind of thing. Um, I highly encourage people to do that. Entrepreneurship is great. You know, it's, it's one of those uh, self-reliance sort of things. Um, and then, so, Gen Z has been the first generation. They'll have a lower quality of life than the generation before them. Now, come on. All right. In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. It's, there's so many metrics that goes into quality of life. And uh, so... Anyway, Joshua Citrella, 32 years old, a researcher who studies online communities. Teenagers today find themselves, he said, with the three major crises all coming up to a head at the Gen Z moment. And it goes in to describe how they're, you know, they don't think that they're going to have health care. They don't think they're going to have Social Security. They don't, um, they make less. They have to pay more in rent. All of this sort of thing, rising inequality, unaffordable college tuition, all of these are, you know, definitely things that we should talk about, definitely things that we should discuss. However, there have been advances in technology, there has been advances in uh, workplace, the work, workplace laws, the, this sort of thing, um, availability to, you know, it's easier to actually find who's hiring the more than it has been ever because of the internet. Um, it's <clears throat> healthcare has the science behind healthcare has improved quite a bit. Um, things, ailments and diseases and conditions that would have been a death sentence 50 years ago aren't now. And so that could be argued that, that, that the quality of life has improved and will continue improving into the Gen Z generation. I don't know. That's a question for the comments. Do you think Gen Z's uh, gener- will be the first generation to have a lower quality of life than the millennials, X's, or boomers. So let me know what you think. I'll post that question down below. Um, so there's a, a good mentions of selling merch thing. It's almost like the New York Times is advertising for these kids, which, uh, okay, free advertising, more power to you. Um, but again, biases. I'll definitely use the money for my student loans. Great. All right. So paying off student loans. I mean, 
you know, I'll post the link down to her products. I might as well. I'll kind of, I'll kind of push it. Seems like she has some good stuff. So, what do you think about this whole OK Boomer thing? OK Boomer slash Snowflake. Do you think that these, it's, it's a poke fun at each other. It's mildly poking fun, and it's it's all in it's all in good taste. And you know, you can kind of shrug your shoulders and roll your eyes and kind of be like, oh, okay, haha, that's funny. Or do you think there's kind of a more um, generational hate thing going on here. Do you think that hate is involved with these sort of comments? Um, I know that in my in my life, I you know I'm a millennial. I'm 29. I have experienced that. I've experienced people be like, "Oh, you damn millennials," you know, all that sort of thing. And I just kind of brush it off, and it's just like, okay, well. I think I have I have different life experiences. You know, the world is a little bit different. You know, I I see things a little bit different. That's you know, it's not a crime for people to people to think differently. But do you do you think that there's sort of this this uh, this head to head like push against each other in a generational sense that one that they're so diametrically opposed in their viewpoints that it's getting to the point where it is like it said in the in the title up here or the subtitle that it is war <laughs> that there's a generational war be going on on the internet there's a lot of questions that 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 are, I think are, is good to explore here with um with how people interact on the internet uh and then cross generational relations um whether the poking fun has gone too far I don't know. It's a it's definitely an interesting conundrum that we find ourselves in in the age of the internet. And uh I'll I'll always go back to to an old adage and I've tried to keep up with this more in my interactions online with people is that um being nice doesn't cost anything. You know, if someone says something that you don't that you don't agree with that you don't or they in, outright insult you and say oh you millennials don't know about anything about politics or okay boomer you know then it doesn't cost you anything to to say okay well ha thank you for sharing your view have a nice day it doesn't cost you anything maybe some people will think you're a pushover but uh at the end of the day it's it, it maintaining good relationships and and ha being able to have future conversations where you can hopefully you know move the needle or influence those those people then through those future conversations is is going to be um is going to be beneficial and i don't i think people a lot of people have these surface level conversations where they go oh no it's this way and you don't think so because you're living in the past or you don't think so because you haven't had enough life experience. And um, it's all this these presuppositions and prejudging based on someone's age. Um, and those conversations are not beneficial. There, there isn't headway made in, in, in any way in those type of debates. They're, they're trite arguments. Anyway, so let me know what you, what you think. Um, engage in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be back for some more videos. Thanks for hanging with me with my week off, and you have a great day.